Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I'm going to unpack one of the syllabus dot point. Let's get into it. So let's unpack this dot point here. The point of these sides of a quadrilateral joining to form a parallelogram. So let me just construct a quadrilateral first. So let's say this is point A, B, C, D. So let's say vector A, B is vector A. And vector A, D is vector D. And vector D, C is vector C. And vector B, C is vector B. And this is the midpoint of A, B. And this is the midpoint of BC. And this is the midpoint of DC. And this is the midpoint of ID. So the question is, we need to construct this quadrilateral here is a parallelogram. So let's name this midpoint here. So this midpoint here, let's say P, Q, R, S. So the M is, let me just write this down, is to prove So to prove PQRS is a parallelogram, we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So in another word, we can prove PS is equal to QR and PQ is equal to SR. But we also know that if one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, so this means that PQRS is a parallelogram. Okay, so let's just prove that property. So we're going to prove vector SP is equal to RS. Okay, so if the vector are equal, this means that they have the same direction and magnitude. Okay, so let's do that. So first of all, let's find PS. So let me just write it here. So vector PS. So we know that PS is equal to SA plus IP. Okay, so equal to SA, vector SA plus vector IP. And we know that S is the midpoint of AD, so therefore vector AS is a half of D. And SD is a half of D. Similarly, okay, R is the midpoint of DC, so therefore vector DR is a half of C, and this is a half of C. And AP is a half of A, because P is a midpoint of IB and this vector PB is a half of I as well. And then BQ is a half of B. So QC is a half of B. So now SA is equal to negative a half of D. Okay, SA is opposite direction with AS. Okay, just keep that in mind. So this means is equal to negative a half of D. Plus, so AP, so AP is this here, AP is a half of A, so we just add a half of A. So if I take the common factor out, that is a half, so this means that equal a half of negative vector D plus vector A. But don't forget, negative vector D plus vector A is exactly the same as vector A minus D. Okay, keep that in mind. So this means that is equal to a half of vector A minus vector D. And what is vector A minus vector D? So negative D plus A, if you like. So negative D is 
this and then plus a so this means that this is the vector okay so this vector here so this is vector d b so vector d b is equal to vector a minus vector d and vector d b is also equal to this vector here that is vector dc plus vector cb okay so that is this vector here so is equal to vector c minus vector b this is negative b so therefore we know that a vector a minus vector d is equal to vector c minus vector b okay so keep that in mind for me so let me just bubble this now let's just find vector rq so vector rq is equal to rc plus vector cq but then vector rc is a half of c and then vector cq is negative a half of vector b so if i take the common factor out that is a half so that will give me vector c minus vector b but, th but then we already know that c minus b is exactly the same as a minus d so therefore we can see they are equal so that is equal to a half of a minus d so that is equal to vector p s so therefore vector p s is equal to vector rq so since the two vector p s and q r are equal this means that they have the same direction and same magnitude so therefore p s is parallel to rq and equal okay so let me just write this down so this implies that the vector p s is parallel with vector rq and the magnitude ps is equal to the magnitude of rq so therefore So therefore, quadrilateral PQRS is a parallelogram. Please try to prove it yourself by proving the vector PQ is equal to vector RS. So see how you go and let me know on the comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.